Fellow tennis nerds, as a pro, it's often difficult to find the racket you're using. And if it's an old model, maybe you're not a top 100 pro, you can struggle. And this has happened to me a number of times. Obviously, if you want to switch to a model that's older, you have to search eBay, forums, buy and sell racket sites, everything to find that particular racket model. Because you might not find that exact feel, there might not be a substituted place the same. And it happens also on the Pro Tour when they don't get the rackets. Maybe they're not sponsored for whatever reason. Might be a small brand with a small budget. Might just be that they're not ranked highly enough. Twice this happened with actually Prince players. I'm not singling out Prince here. It also happens with other brands. But for example, I had Nicolas Kicker, very strong player, won some challenger titles, been ranked top 100. He reached out and uh, wanted to find more Prince XO3 Tour 100s. A very, very flexible O-port racket that he loves. And luckily I, ha I had three. I managed to, to find them. I sold them to him cheap. I think he was pretty happy about that. And I had a tennis nerd teacher. I hope he wears it at some point. But uh, the, the fun thing there is that it's a model that is quite rare, but it's a very specific feeling model because you have these O-ports, quite low, flexible response. He loves them. Some players won't, but that's the model he wants and there's nothing really remotely similar in the marketplace. And Prince doesn't seem to be in a position to send pro stock rackets of that nature to the players, at least if they're lower rank. Maybe, I mean, obviously John Isner will get rackets probably, but, but the players uh, that are ranked lower than him. Helping a pro player in Sweden find more of these, the Prince Beast 03, O meaning O ports in this case, that's the 03 technology. Uh, he plays with these, Dragos Madaras, uh, might be the wrong pronunciation, I think it's from Romania the name. A uh, very nice guy it seems like, uh, but he had a really hard time finding more of this Prince. Beast, he's won a bunch of um, ITF Futures tournaments, risen in the rankings, and uh, yeah, obviously he needs more rackets. I think he has five of these and he needs more of them. So I managed to find a few in the Netherlands and uh, that he bought already. And then now uh, Dennis, he had one of these remaining. So. Uh, it's an interesting racket, it actually plays really nicely, uh, software thanks to the O-Ports. And uh, as you know, if you've followed Tennis Nerd for a while, you know I like the Prince Beast 98. So, new Beast line coming, I don't know if it's going to include the 98 or any O-Ports, but uh, it's an interesting frame and I'm happy I managed to find a few for, for Dragos and I wish him all the best in his uh, futures and challenger and, and career in the tennis tour. Hey fellow tennis nerds, this video is sponsored by Sigrun Tennis. I don't really know how to pronounce it 100%, but they are a great tennis clothes. It's a premium apparel brand. I wore their hoodie in some videos. You've seen that uh, also while hitting with Daniel on the court. And uh, this is a shirt that's pretty funky, a Hawaiian with tennis rackets and balls on it. So it's a cool one as well. And they have some really high quality t-shirts. So I, I tried a few of their products. They are giving away $300 gift card within two weeks of the posting of this video. So make sure to sign up to the newsletter list and you can win a $300 gift card in their web shop. Really cool brand, Sigrun Tennis, tennis players who like to create premium apparel. This is how it can go. Uh, this is just two cases. I've helped a bunch of pro players, lower ranked pro players over the years, and also obviously intermediate players to find frames, whether it's just finding the right type of frame for their game or right string or tension or customization but also in terms of just finding that racket model because I've been buying, selling, trading rackets for such a long time. Quick review of the Prince Beast 9803. Very nice racket. I really like hitting with it, actually. I hadn't like. tried it before. I, re I was a fan of the Beast 98 as I've reviewed on Tennis Nerd and other channels in the past. But this one surprised me a little bit softer, a slightly better feel, I would say, than the, the Beast 98. So I can understand why Dragos likes this racket. And if you have any stories of this, well, maybe you have been in this situation. Uh, feel free to comment on this video. Please check out our tennis coaching app in the Play Store, in the App Store, Unstrung Nerds. Uh, we have uh, quite a lot of downloads already, but I hope to get more. And please give us feedback so we can keep creating more content and keep improving the app. And also check out TennisNerd.net where you have a racket course, consultations and a lot of other stuff. And big thanks also to you patrons who support Tennis Nerd on a monthly basis and get some free content like first impressions of this pro staff, for example. That's all for today. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis. Okay, I have to show this. This is a Donay Pro 1 Agassi fame in plastic. Crazy. I don't know if I should take off the plastic, but this is pretty nuts. Original string, so I'll hit a few shots. Uh, thin beam, uh, just a classic. These two strings, new grip, everything, but it's a 
It's an interesting, interesting legend. Very good. 